away what kind. Okay, if you can tell me which province they say what kind in. Okay, I'll like the, your comments. I like it. Like, I'll put a big heart on it. Okay. Nah, I'll, I'll do it regardless. But just, just let me know what province they say what kind in. You, you know what I mean? I, I even pronounce it well because I'm from that same province. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, uh, let me tell you a little bit about you. Um, You're either watching this the day before your paper or you're watching it the morning before. And your vocab isn't good. So you're worried that you're not going to understand, like, maybe what's what the cartoon is about, maybe what the advert is about. And that is probably your fatal flaw, because if this paper was in your home language, probably English or Sizulu or Kasa or whatever it is, Sutu, yeah, you probably get full marks, but it's an Afrikaans, my friend. So you're battling, and every time you say a maybe you get a bit thirsty. <laughs> and I know in paper two, you just say, um to to an, um to to an. Yeah, I know you, I know your type. I've been teaching your type. But don't worry, uh, I'm also not a native Afrikaans speaker, so I myself don't know what's going on. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, uh, we are gathered here to save uh, your Afrikaans mark. Okay. Um, you can do it. There's still time, I hope. Uh, but this is probably the, the last time that you are going to write uh, an Afrikaans paper one. That is, if you are writing um, a final paper, which more like most likely is the truth. So if I've accurately described you, uh, could you possibly like just just, uh, just subscribe to the channel? Like it would really, really help if you could push these videos out. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to beg like, oh, please subscribe to my channel. But I'm like, I'm low key begging. Like, please, like, I just want to hit like 30K before year end is over, please. But yeah, anyway, 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 uh, let's get into uh, this video. So tall language, some nice language tips. First things first, Tal, it's broken into three sections. Three sections, what are they? It is going to be your advert, it's going to be your cartoon, and it's going to be, well, like the actual Tal, the actual language. So for the ad, you're using Ada. I don't know how many times I've talked about Ada on this channel. For the cartoon, more often than not, you're trying to understand like the satire, it's usually more often than not going to be comedic or it's going to be stereotypical. There's going to be like some funny element to it. And language is a proper uh, like garam masala. Now, if you're wondering what garam masala is, okay, if you have an Indian friend, ask them. They, they'll probably know. They might know. If you do know, very good. It's like, a, it's like an all-purpose spice, if you know what I mean, you know. You can chuck in like some jeera powder in there, maybe a little bit of cardamom powder, cinnamon powder, some masala, some star anise. You know, it's just like a bunch of like subcontinent spices in one. That's what language is. It's a mix of literally every single section uh, that you've come across since you were, you know, doing Afrikaans, probably in grade three, where you get a minimum of one and a maximum of two. What I'm trying to say is that you will get a minimum of one intensive form. You might get another one, but you will never get more than that. Remember, there's only like 40 marks for them to play with here. So yeah, I'm using Ada for the advert. So Ada, attention, interest, desire, and action. We've discussed it many times. Feel free to check it out. Understanding the purpose of the cartoon. Like, what's the reasoning behind this cartoon, man? Like, what stereotype is it trying to get across? And look, guys, um, in your cartoon and in your advert, in both of them, they can integrate tall. They can start asking you director and indirect reader. So everything is examinable, my friend. Okay. Everything, 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 everything. You know that Afrikaans Handbook and Study Guide, that Barra Lutron, giving some free advertising for it. Yeah, everything there. All the pages, all the content. It is examinable, through and through. But please don't spend like six hours now, like focusing on Trapov and Farge Leikeng and all the little rules that come with it. Or like the hundred rules that come with like Mir Foda and Verklein Wort. No, no, it's a little bit late for that now. Learn the basics through and through. And you should be fine. Baseline knowledge. Don't just focus on the exceptions. If it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay? But don't go down and like freestyle the exam. And look, not all questions are equal. This is actually an animal farm like kind of like kind of saying. Not all questions are equal. Like not all animals are equal. You know, some are more equal than others. Some questions are just a little bit more important than others. In the sense that, guys, you have to fight more often than not, extremely hard in comprehension questions, especially when you don't have the vocab to get through with it. In Tal, there are some mahala marks that you need to get through. So what I'm trying to say here is you need to manage your time effectively. This is more about time management. Management. I'm not sure if you like remember that uh, Trevor Noah skit, hilarious man. Management. Management. Good times, man. The day walker. Anyway. It's about time management. Like, please don't spend an hour on like off the along R, like text, text A, text B, the comprehension and like the little 
text that comes after that because then all of a sudden you're pushing like 50 marks in the next hour don't do that don't compromise your paper if tall is your stronger point go for tall start with whatever you're good at if you're killing up you can nail 10 marks in 10 minutes start with that by all means and look vocab is absolutely key Look, at this stage, it is a little bit late for you to go learn like all the words cut from the Afrikaans language, but just go through some past papers and do more like specific preparation. Go through the past papers, look at the question words. Like, for example, the words, like I've said this so many times in a lot of the videos, right? The words day and af lay appear a lot. Like day means indicate, af lay, lay af. That means derive. And most importantly, leave your ego at the door. Okay, I don't know how big your ego is. But maybe you're one of those kids that like you see a three marker in the comprehension. And now you're spending so much time on this three marker. You're spending like five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. And before you know it, you're still getting zero out of three and you've just wasted eight minutes in the exam. Yeah, if I'm talking about you, maybe you're referring to your maths paper, your physics paper, maths lit, accounting, whatever it is. Leave your ego at the door. More often than not, kids, they usually battle to finish this paper. So if it's not working out, simply move on. Uh, I'm not talking about Tal now, I'm talking about your relationship that you're in, your toxic relationship, leave them, okay? You're better than that. Okay, but yeah, <laughs> you guys get my point here. Um, these are some, just some last minute Tal tips. I hope you guys, I hope you guys, look, I'm, I'm stuttering a little bit. Sorry, I, I wanted to end this video off on a bang, but like I'm stuttering now. So did I lose the effect? Now I'm joking, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this little video, just some last minute Tal tips. But yeah, um, I wish you the very best for your examination. This is probably the last time that you are writing Afrikaans paper one. So end with a bang. Win this Afrikaans war that you fought uh, for a decade or so. But yeah, good luck. I believe in you. Love you guys. Bye.